Orlando Home Inspector explains knob and tube electric wiring. Knob and tube wiring was typically used from the 1880s through the 1930s. It is a system of open conductors supported on ceramic knobs. It also used tubes where wires cross each other or pass through framing. The wiring should clear ceiling material and framing by at least one inch. Concealed knob and tube wiring has not been allowed since the 1975 NEC. Knob and tube wiring is designed to dissipate heat to free air. Conductor wires can become brittle with age and attic heat. Attic temperatures can exceed 150 degrees. Heat will cause the wire insulation to deteriorate. The wire conductors were not designed to be nailed to framing materials in that wires require a minimum one inch clearance from framing and should not be in direct contact with wire nails or staples that could become electrified by direct contact with wire conductors. The theoretical advantage of knob and tube wiring is that it dissipates into free air and therefore has a higher ampacity than cable systems with equivalent wire sizes. Alterations to design of original design is inevitable. Attics and walls with knob and tube wiring cannot be insulated in any manner where insulation envelopes the wire. This typifies an original knob and tube wiring installation. No thermal insulation poses energy loss issues and higher utility expenses. If this condition exists in your attic, an electrical upgrade should be made. Most insurance companies will not insure this property. Call me at 407-834-7714 for inspections and building consultations.